welcome back to another episode on the Purecraft server. It is episode 7 and we are cruising around outside here because at the end of the last episode we finished off the outside of the pyramid and um, I gave you away some details and explained exactly what everything was going on with my idea and the build and the lore behind it and of course that was aliens and these aliens are being worshipped by the people in this world and the aliens are providing to those people as well so they've got oases in the corners uh, with some fruit trees and then lots of vegetation and different things that they think they would need along with some water sources with the uh, the wells as well so if you missed any of that there's a nice little time lapse of parts of it going in so please do go back and watch but if you look at the journey map doesn't that look amazing <laughs> I just love the look of that. That's the map, fully zoomed out, and it looks quite big. And and I did. I remember saying at the beginning of this series that it's going to be large. I want it to be large. I want it to be prominent, so it can be seen by anyone on the server. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So this episode, what I've been doing is uh, over the past few weeks, as well as doing this, I've been working inside off camera. And the last time you saw in here on the floor, it was all flat. So it was the uh, chiselled sandstone blocks and chiselled cobblestone. Yeah, cobblestone blocks. But it was all very flat. So I've been doing some designs and I've put a bit of depth into it. I've put a bit of colour into it. So these patterns sort of look like they're, they're sort of leaking or bleeding or running up to the centre here. And in the inside here, we're going to continue on with the, the idea of these aliens providing to people. And right in the middle, in this central bit, is going to be a mob drop. Yep, we're going to use drop of evils on some soil and some vector plates, which is going to sort of push them off. And they'll be falling down from a particular point up above, down into this depth here. We're going to dig all of this away. We've got a structure that's going to go up around the edge here. I still need to decide what I'm going to do with this colour coming up to the edge. I'm going to cover everything in this clear glass. As you can see, I started doing that. But I don't know whether I need to add a little bit of organicness to this. So it kind of comes up the sides. I think it'll probably look better if this is flowing and then running up to these edges. Because these colours here, this block and the emerald block as well, are, are what's going to be running up in the in the design of this circle so i'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this uh, i think the first thing for me to do is cover the rest of this in clear glass because the only section i've done so far is this one so it's not such a, a hassle to walk over you can just carry on walking over and you don't have to jump up and down because most people when they come in here are probably going to be flying around anyway i would imagine but if you do walk and you can just walk and look down and see what's going down there. So that's the first thing to do. So yeah, um, I'll quickly get on with that and I'll catch up with you in just a minute. So that's the majority of the glass done in here. Just got a little bit here left to do on this side and I have decided after thinking about it that I will go for the sort of organic feel for the colours coming up to the actual um, structure up here. So I thought just as if it's flowing in a way you know from down here and maybe we'll just run it up we we'll do a little bit of this like so and then down here it can um, run across the, the floor a bit like this and then a little bit down here maybe how'd that look? that looks okay like that Oh, I'm under the glass, that's why I can't get up. Okay, so yeah, that looks good. So I've done that on this side as well. So we've got the green coming up and then the purple. The only thing is that the um, the quite clear glass, when it comes up to the edge, it's, it's a little grey there, but uh, I can live with it. It's not overly noticeable. Let's just get this and uh, finish this off. Like so. And... Have I got enough? No, I have not. Let's go and get some more of that. I've also changed the dirt ring 
around the edge here for a factory bot, a chiseled factory block. Let's just get some more of this. And then we can finish this off. Like so. So there we go. And did we miss one in here? Yes, we did. So that's all done. So that's going to lead up to the actual main structure in the middle. And that's what we're going to do next. But um, there was a couple of things that I needed. So essentially, we're going to have obsidian going down on the inner edge. And also, I discovered, uh, well, because it's going to have a mob spawner in it, and there, there's, uh, what it, I'll explain what it'll be, and that'll probably help with what I'm about to explain as well. Essentially, it's going to be like a, a helix. So it's as if life is being provided through these colourful ribbons of whatever they are, and they're running up connecting to the helix and the helix is going to go up and round so you'll have four parts to it circling up to the top of the pyramid and then halfway up is where the mob spawner is going to be so it's almost like it's giving it life and we'll have the connecting colors in a way um, but in between there's going to be some obviously some large gaps and I want the mob spawner to to work fairly efficiently and I found something called um, now where was it uh, dark is it dark clear glass this says yeah so dark clear glass and you can do here we go so quite clear glass and then you need sort of a black dye so what I thought about doing was using like a, a flower dye in order to produce those but there was a little problem, and that was the quantity that it takes to actually make one of those, and that's four dye and one clear glass. So I had to come up with a bit of automation. first piece of automation I came up with was an obsidian generator. I was quite pleased with this. Um, I, I found out about the fluidic plenisher, and I've got some um, mechanism mechanical pipes, the ultimate one, so it can throw as much lava into the top of it is possible and it's powered from the back by a dimensional transceiver and then we've got the fluid tank and then an ender tank and in the in the nether I've got a little bit of um, a builder going picking up some uh, picking up some lava and then down here another an extra utilities mechanical miner uh, powered by redstone so as soon as I turn that on and of course a water source block pouring this way and bingo! <laughs> Away it goes, it does the thing. Self replenishes. All coming from that. I was really pleased with that. Uh, not too difficult to put together, but you have to understand that I don't know how these things work. So it took me a little. I didn't know whether the power went in on the top here and the, the pipe went on the side. It was uh, a little bit of fiddling. And, and to be honest, you can see I've had it running for a little while. You could have this in a one wide block. You can have the pipe going or the tank straight on top I would imagine and then this feeding into that and then you could have you could fashion it in a way where you know, maybe you could have the the mine around the front so you could fit it into one block space I imagine. Yeah because you could have the power just sitting above the water just at the back there as well so it's all doable but I've not. I've done it as crudely as possible to get it to work. Now the other thing that I did was the uh, was getting dye and I thought about using the mystical black flowers or the black petals uh, yeah from the mystical flowers and I came up with this little thing so we've got in at the back here we've got the uh, uh, mechanical user mixture of utilities again and that is placing the black petals so it's um, use item on block right click upper left slot only so that places it and then in here we've got some bone meal and again random slot right click place on block so that makes it grow and then I put some shears into another one at the other side but unfortunately uh, when I initially tried it the shears were shearing the the actual petal before it could grow into a flower so I put a little 
redstone clock delay with the repeater in there as well for the actual shear so it got a chance to get some uh, bone meal before it was actually sheared so then that's picked up by the vacuum chest fed down into an auto crafter where so the tall flowers come in here that breaks it down into the petals and we need to want this I wanted this to be self replenishing so this item conduit is then leading back up here with a priority of one so there's four petals coming out and they all go here first back into the user but then once that's full up once that gets to 64 let's turn it on in fact and I put a little uh, sound muffler there so that's going in so that should be filling up and it's not <laughs> great let's find out why where are you going you're all coming in here why are you coming in here you should be now this did work before so I don't know right so it's doing it there so why is that insert ah right I was doing orange before I need to put that in there okay so in here I've got a f because because this isn't particularly quick at changing these into the black petals the flowers disappear straight out and are obviously going in here or they have been in the past going into why can't I click on there there yeah they've been going directly into there so what we needed to do or what I did do is put a filter on to stop blacklist the actual tall flowers so they stayed within there until they converted into petals and then the petals came out yeah that's on insert and so at the point that this fills up so let's crack it again so that's sending a pulse there we go so you'll see quite quickly that's going to fill up to 64 and at the point it fills up to 64 it's then obviously got nowhere else to go but into here so that's when we actually get this so in this auto crafter I've got the pestle and mortar with the black petal and it's going to create my black powder and that goes in here and it's pretty quick as well so again this could be made to be quite compact I'm sure there's definitely better ways of doing it I just sort of threw it around as I was thinking about it and I got it to work so that is what I needed to create this dark glass the glass that doesn't let in any any light so I've been doing that over here um, but as you can see it takes four pair quite clear glass to create one of these darker ones so I've been collecting all of that trying to get those things going along with the obsidian as well uh, so I can f obviously the dark glass is going to fill in the gaps around this the obsidian is going to go down below and we're going to get the structure up so I've talked for too long I've given you too much information <laughs> I'm going to crack on with this maybe I'll try and do it in a little time lapse that might be quite a good idea uh, third person time lapse and you can see it take shape and uh, I'll crack on with it now So there we go it's in I really hope you enjoyed that little time lapse there and uh, I'm quite pleased with it it's a bit dark on the outside well, um, see if I can do of course I want it to be dark on the inside where the uh, the 
dark glass is gonna go. Have I got... I thought I had some... Don't I have some painted... I've got one painted glowstone there. Oh, I've got 64 there. Let's just try this. And where's my chisel? Um, I don't have a chisel. Let me find a chisel. And I'm going to quickly try something. So I thought I could take some painted glowstone, chisel it, and then, you know, just replace a layer on the outside. Can't chisel painted glowstone. Can't chisel the painted cobblestone. So I chiseled an actual original block, thinking, okay, well, I'll come round. I'll put some painted glowstone here, and then I'll add a layer here. But I even can't get that to work. Draw region, replace. Oh, right. Well, that's not replace, that's place. And that didn't seem to block out a lot of light. Okay. Um... Mm, I need to need to figure out whether I want to put painted glowstone up and around these or not and how that would impact the mob farm. I mean I'm not expecting to get I'm not wanting this to go, you know, all guns crazy and give me ultimate amounts of uh, drops, but still I would quite like mobs to spawn in it. Let me put the um the dark glass in there and I'll put the obsidian around the bottom edge here and then we'll start playing around with some light and see if we can actually get this to to look better from the outside at least anyway I'll be right back folks so I'm just putting the last finishing touches in here of this dark glass one more did I did I lose one I need to come back up and do you but I'm not sure that I like this. I I don't know. I'm not convinced. Um, I've missed one round there as well. It just it kind of detracts from the helix itself because there's so many lines because of the grey edges of the glass. I don't know. I mean, yes, it should keep everything dark inside. But, uh, no, no, it's not convincing me. After all that grind, I don't think I like the look of it. I, added, I decided to actually add some painted glowstone around the edges, so there is some light seeping to the inside anyway. I think I'm going to get rid of the glass, and then I'm going to build the platform and we'll see how the actual spawning performs itself yeah I'll be right back I've got, got to take this down I don't like it wrong thing yeah that's a lot better I'm a lot happier with that there's not so much of a mess getting in the way of getting in the way of the actual helix itself and you can see that a lot better as well I just need to see how the actual mob farm itself performs and whether or not we can we need to darken it up anymore but um, the level for the dirt where the drop of evil is going is about a sort of halfway up so this is about the halfway house around for each of the actual spirals of the helix uh, and it's just as you come walking in you can look down on top of it and see what's actually going on right here so this is where the uh, the mud's going to be it is three what don't pick up my mob farm that's what you get for interfering with my build where did he get that from look at the mess that he's made down there don't pick them up here right so that's in the middle yeah so it's two in the middle and then carry on keep going around here so the last few bits of dirt with the wand there so it's 
it's a bit like a square, but obviously offset. Uh, one, two, three, so we're definitely three in. So yeah, this is it. This is going to be the platform. You walk in and the mobs will be dropping and they should fall down into this gap here. Now I need to experiment with this because uh, I didn't bring my travelators up, we'll do that as well. I've only got so many diamond spikes and I may need to make some more. I'm more than positive. Something strange happened to me. I was in this in my storage looking and I found diamond spikes and I'm sure it said 60 something and I went to drag um, some of them out. I think I grabbed half, probably said 62 and then the other ones disappeared. Now I don't know whether it was because of I had power issues or let's just see if they're actually in there because I really do need them. Yeah, they've gone. And and I don't know why. I'm more than positive that I saw them there. It was weird. We've got full power and everything. Could have been just a glitch. I'm sure I made quite a few. I'm hoping that the 31 that I do have is going to work. So let's get the old vector plates. I've also got some ender tethers as well. Now those stop um, Endermen from teleporting away and you basically you've got some obsidian, redstone torch and an unstable ender pearl which is some wither dust which you get from from wither skeletons and an ender pearl and that gives you one of them. So I've done uh, some of those as well because when the Endermen spawn up here I don't want them just teleporting off the the platform as soon as they come to the edge so there'll be some torch action going on there and down below because they could teleport away when they tr when they hit the ground as well so some of that needs to go in I've also got uh, four vacuum chests a trash can for whatever I don't need the drop of evil which again you get from wither skeletons so I can spread that across the dirt and some item conduits and my diamond spikes and I th think I'm probably going to need a bit of obsidian as well. I think I'm going to build this central wall up and have them, they'll be dropping down the sides some more vector plates. Is that right? Yeah. Pushing them into a row of diamond spikes and then in the walls themselves will be the uh, either side will be the vacuum chests sucking them into the middle so you won't really see what's going on in the middle it'll just be this outer edge uh, but yeah so let's just get some of these vector plates on here I'm probably going to need a lot more of these as well actually and we want to be going this way yep so we'll go this way first Yep, I'm going to need a hell of a lot more vector plates. That was a stack and then eight. And that didn't go far, so probably another, ooh, maybe another eight stacks of these things. Crikey. Okay. Um, I'll get that together. I'll come back and we can finish that off. So I'm just sticking these last few vector plates in down the bottom. Now I've got the obsidian square in here. And this is what we're going to be pushing the mobs up against if they survive the fall. Uh, where do we want this to go? To be honest, it doesn't really matter too much how those go, as long as they're all going in the in the similar direction. We'll go here. And we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. So there we go. So we've got all the vector plates in there. Um, I, uh, ideally, I would like to have covered them up, but I did check, and they are class. When you put them down, you put something on top of them. It's as if they're a full block. So I can't put any carpet on them or anything like that. Uh, if anybody knows of a way of covering them up, then 
please let me know and then we can sort of cover up this side of things and up on top as well but we want to make sure that these guys spawn um time spikes let's see if i've got enough if not i need to get more of those i was going to do the dirt there but that's going to instantly spawn them and they're going to be mobs down here that i need to deal with so let's just put the the diamond spikes in and at least if we then do test it up above i'm going to run out aren't i um then you know they're at least they're getting killed down here oh come on how many more do we need one two three four five more diamond spikes Oh, I don't think I've got any more diamonds left. Diamonds, I've got some diamonds. Okay, so let's get these last few in. What? So one, two, three, it was five. Okay, well, we've got three extra. And we need to put these. Now, can I put them? Um. Let's just put them sort of here-ish for the moment and we'll see what that does and then we'll do... Can I put that under there? Hmm. Let's just do that for the moment and I have got some some plans for for the underneath of this so you don't see the dirt down below let's just do this and then we'll see how this works okay so there's the um, the ender tethers to try and stop the endermen from teleporting away is this dark enough up here it doesn't look particularly dark does it and I don't have the drop of evil with me either Right, I'm conscious of how long this episode is going on, so let's click on there. Now if I move away a certain distance for spawning to take place, please tell me there is enough darkness. Uh, let's find out. What's the light saying? 12. 10 so it's light 6 13 it's this oh beacon it's killing it but that's at the heart of the pyramid and it's providing all the um the powers. What could I do? Um, oh, I don't want to have to move the, the beacon because it looks really good coming out the top of the pyramid. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, for for the moment. Let's just let's just fill that in with glass for the for the moment. Nope. Want that back? Oh, bit of lag there. Right, there we go. Now we're going to get some mobs. Come on. <laughs> How far away do I have to go to get the mobs to spawn? Come on mobs. You must be. There's no reason for you to not spawn on this. Light six, seven, 
nine, ten. What? Oh, is it from that? Is it from up above, do you think? Yes, light zero. Okay, so that was that was causing. Oh, right, yeah, spider. That made me jump. Here we go. So they're falling pretty much on the spikes, which is good. At the moment, that seems to be going quite well. Enderman fell down. Oh, he tried to teleport away. Did that work? Oh, he's, he's in there. Hmm. I am going to cover this over. I will probably bring it, bring it up to the level of this floor and then cover that over to try and stop them from, from getting in there. Maybe I need more tor uh, torches to stop them teleporting away. I think that looks okay though. That seems to be doing the job. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how that's working. That's working quite well. So if I get the um, oh the thingy chests in the purple cube thing, there we go. The vacuum chests. Yeah, we get them in. That'll be sucking all them babies up. And I think I'll put some carpet down in here to stop the endermen from jumping to the inside. Uh, and then we'll see whether or not that gets us those types of drops but that's it folks i think i'm gonna call it a day on this i really hope that you enjoyed this episode actually no that's not a good enough ending to this episode i prattled on for too long there and i didn't really do much to be honest but i have now completed it to a point that i'm happy i can end this episode and here it is Lots of zombies doing the jig up there. Yes, some of them are still coming out. I need to sort that out. But here's the bowl that I've put in and that's holding the, the soil. And here's the bottom, here's the middle piece. So, originally I put the um, vacuum chests on the inside and a lot of it was getting stuck in the edges so there's some on the inside there's some on the outside and uh, brought the level up as well and that's all let's just go down here linked up to this chest round here for the moment temporarily i've got all that coming in there so it's going quite well it's pretty efficient to be honest so i just need to figure out just the edges i mean the glass that i was going to put on there originally that was also going to stop them flying out but to be honest the you know the rates are pretty good i, I was going to start putting something together here i i don't know what i'm going to do with that we'll see but anyway now I'm happy it's in a state that I can finish the episode. So if you did like the episode, then please do leave me a like. Of course, if you're new to the channel, then think of subscribing if you want to, and I'll catch you in the next one.